Hey guys, my name is Meadow and today I want to show you how you can easily create your own WebView app for your Android device using Android Studio. So here we are in the computer and at my internship they asked me if I could create a simple WebView app for Android devices and I have no experience making applications myself. I'm more of a web developer than an application developer myself. But I managed to find this project online uh, right here on github.com slash slimax slash webview and I'll leave a link to this in the description of this video when you get to this page you don't need to sign up or anything just click on download zip file download zip and you gotta unpack this zip somewhere and open this up with uh, as a project in Android Studio we've done downloading the webview uh, project and unpacked it you can start up your Android Studio and click on Open an Existing Android Studio Project. Now we browse to our desktop on Windows. That will be under your Users folder right here. So your main drive, Users, and then your username. Then we go down to Desktop. Just going to double click on that. Let's scroll down a little bit. And here's a WebView Master App. So we can open this up. We'll give this a minute. And when it's done opening up, it will tell me that it's got an error message. This has failed to find target with hash string Android-21, which basically means that I'm missing the SDK for um, API level 21 in our Android Studio. So to solve this, we're going to click on the Android with a down facing arrow give this a few seconds to load up and then click on launch standalone SDK manager right here on the bottom and the screen opened in the other monitor I'm gonna pull that back in so when you look in here here it says Android 6.0 API 23 we're not gonna need that we need the 21 so I'm gonna scroll down here it says Android 5.0.1 API 21 and this is the one we need to install so we're going to tick the box on the left of that and install I click on install um, and then the number of packages I'm going to accept this license agreement you might want to read that hit install and this can take up to about like half an hour or something depending on your system and internet connection so I'm going to cut the video here and come back when it's done. And after it's done updating, we're just going to hit OK. Hit OK again. Now we're going to check if it's properly updated or not. So we're going to click on the Android icon again with the downwards facing arrow. And there we have it. Here's this API level 21 and it's tagged so it's installed. I'll get hit OK again. I'm click on file. I'm gonna click on close project, and I'm gonna click on open an existing Android Studio project again, and open up our project again. So once again, on our primary drive, C drive, users. I'm gonna go to username. Mine is on the desktop, so I'm gonna double click on that. And here we are again, WebView Master. I'm gonna click on OK. Wait for this to load up. And when it's done, we can click on Project on the left. And we can unfold all the folders to see where all the files are. Like this. I'm going to go back to the GitHub website, the web page. So to use a remote web, uh, web source, we're going to uncomment line 31 on mainactivity.java and change example.com to match our remote source. So we're going to go back to our Android Studio, to our main activity.java, and the uh, line numbers are not shown by default, but you can right click here and hit on show line numbers to show and hide the line numbers. So we're going to go to line 31, remove the forward slashes from the rest of that line of code to uncomment that line. And for this example, we're going to go with um, youtube.com. 
Now we're going to go back to the GitHub again, and it says uncommon line 34. And this is on the same file, so we're going to remove those forward slashes here. Go to GitHub again, and it says open the mywebview client.java file and replace example.com in line 12 with your custom URL. Uh, we got this open right here, my app, webview client.java, which in the file structure is under app, java, and then my app, webview client. I'm going to change it on line 12 right here from example.com to youtube.com. And this will prevent internal links, so links going to different pages from the same website to open up in the browser. They're actually going to open up in the WebView app itself. And external uh, links, so links on YouTube.com going uh, outwards to different websites, those will open up in the browser set by the user on their Android device. Now the next thing you want to do is change the package name for your app. We're going to click on this gear icon at the top here. We're going to untag compact empty middle packages. And we're going to right click on this example here. And we're going to look for refactor and then rename. And then we we'll click on rename package. So we can give our app a different name because I'm pretty sure this one is already taken in the Google Play Store. So for this example, we're going to go for WebView app example, example, sorry, and click on refactor. And this can take a minute. And click on do refactor at the bottom of the screen here. Now basically we're already done. And we can start to build our app. So we're going to click on build, generate signed APK, I've already put all the details in here. Just gonna hit next, hit finish, and show it in an explorer. And I've got BlueStacks installed, which is a Android like simulator or emulator, if you will. So I can just double click on it. Now we can start our emulator. Start BlueStacks. Here we go. Here's our WebView app at the top here, or if you can't find it, just hit all apps on the top right here, and then hit WebView app here, and it will open up our website in an app, just like that. So we can go to different tabs here. This is basically the website of YouTube loaded in as an app using a remote source. Now I'm going to show you how you can do this with a local source. So I'm going to close all this off. I'm going to go to File and close my project. We're going to download this. Download this once again and extract it on the desktop. Now we're going to build a WebView app for Android using local sources. We're going to hit on open an existing Android Studio project. And mine again is on a C drive, users, my username, my desktop. And under WebView master local source, this is just an example. You can change the name of this folder any way you want to, but you can't use spaces in it. So now we can just hit project again on the left hand side to see all our files. And we're going under app, w, uh, assets, www folder. And I'm going to sh hold shift and delete these files. These are just the example files, so we, need, we don't need those. Hit delete, OK. Click on do refactor. And now it deleted all the files that were in there. We're going to go back to our GitHub page here under using a local source on common line 37 in mainactivity.java. It's going to go back to Android Studio, look under Java, under com.example.app, and mainactivity. I'm going to double click on that to open it up. Click on the left hand side. Click on show line numbers. 
back to GitHub, it was line 37. Remove the forward slashes from that line here. Now we'll use all the local files in the www folder. Just like you would and like using WAMP or something like that, local uh, local web server. We can put our local files in here and then we can build the app and then we can run it. First off, obviously we're gonna change the package name. Can't use this one. So untag compact empty middle packages. As for example, I'm gonna right click on that, click on refactor and rename. Click on rename package and we're give it, gonna give this a new name. I'm just gonna call this local um, can't use a dash, no. Okay, so local web view, for example. Click on refactor, click on do refactor on the bottom. And we will see at the top of the, the top of this file right here it says package com.localwebview.app, which is what we wanted in this case. And now I'm gonna look up a previous project that I made and load those files into Android Studio. So now I dragged over some files that I had right here in an old project over to a new project. So here are all the files, here's my file structure, my CSS files, my images, my JavaScript uh, files in here, my HTML files. Obviously you need to have an index.html because this will be the first page as you see when you open up the app. And now we basically just have to build the app and test it out. So I'm gonna hit build, generate signed APK, and I'm gonna put in all my stuff again. Again, remember passwords, next, finish. And there we go, show an explorer. Click on our APK file. So we'll get installed into my BlueStacks. And I started on my BlueStacks again. So here it is, our web view app. Now we can open this up. And it opened up in my local files, as you can see. So that's how you can easily make a web view app for Android using Android Studio. If you like this video, please like it down below, as well as subscribe if you want to get notified when I release new videos. And have a great one.